almost every student that I've taught over the years starts off with a kind of funny understanding or relationship to do with their breathing, how it works. And most singers feel anxious about it. And certainly, you know, I, I'm to be accounted amongst those because, you know, when you have fear and doubt in your mind about a performance or a song, that poses a few specific problems or challenging phrases, then of course that little fearful voice in our minds will start needling away and saying, you know, make sure you've got your breathing sorted. This is where the frustration comes in because of course we always want an instant result. So a new singer just starting will feel frustrated and maybe a little bit kind of defeated about the fact that their breathing leaves a little bit to be desired or sometimes it works really well and other, way, other times it doesn't work very well. When you look at babies and how they learn how to walk or how they learn to do anything, it's all by trial and error. They never get impatient with themselves, they just accept that they are on a learning curve. And this is how it must be for us as singers. We're rolling up our sleeves and we are working on this stuff. Then there's no reason to feel impatient about your ability to do this stuff really well. Today's technique tip of the day is about this reflexive diaphragmatic inhalation and that is exactly what we were talking about the other week about uh, Esther Salomon and her, her, the quote I used from her book about getting our energy into alignment and thinking about the moment that you take the breath in and the intention to sing all happens as one gesture. This is the same idea you know, so I'm saying invite the air into the lowest and l widest part of the lungs. That's really what you're trying to achieve. And to do that, you've really got to relax and get out of your own way. It's like a one, one motion of the, the wanting to sing that phrase, to allow that air in, thinking of the music and how you're going to sing on the breath to get right to the end of of your phrase. So it's not a separate thing, it all begins to meld into one complete picture. Okay, now I don't know if you are aware of my little book that I put together a few years ago now. Now the inspiration behind this A to Z of vocal technique was really because of all the time I spent teaching at the Nottingham Trent University, I would see I don't know how many students, sometimes up to 20 students in a day, and I would find that, that they were all quite vocally capable but as a warm-up I would always 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 have to go back to the basics these basic vocal technique tips of which you know the five that I always go on about but you know what the more I look into this issue the more I realize that those five basic exercises those five basic concepts are so important for you to really get to understand you're going to come on leaps and bounds if you can really truly you know give up some time to thinking only about those things. I thought, you know what, I'm always going over the same points, so why not try to make the A to Z of vocal technique. Now, basically it's very simple. So there you see your D, and it's for the diaphragm, and it simply says this. D, diaphragm, the key to breath, inspiration. So think about that alignment of your energy, allowing the air in as you're going to sing, as one thing, the inspired way to take on the breath, to allow the air in. Your intention is to sing and give. All right, now, okay. So this is all the diaphragm does. It contracts, it flattens, it lengthens and compresses. Okay, so it contracts, it lengthens, uh, sorry, it widens and it compresses and then all that happens is it just goes back to normal. You have no real control over that action because it goes back to its normal way of being. Okay, that's what you've got to think. You've got to think this is a natural process and I have got to get out of the way. And I think right at the bottom of the today's technique tip uh, infographic is makes perfect sense no upper torso tension. All right, so this is what, you know, making it look easy is all about because a bit down, further down, you're working like bilio to keep all this all going and looking very natural, just like a swan gliding along. It looks so beautiful and graceful, but think how hard it's working underneath <laughs> the water. And, you know, you've just, you know, you've just got to think about these things. So a very simple technique Tuesday tip with mountains of information behind it. 
okay and the more you can kind of apply your logic to these technique tips the more uh, you you will benefit vocally okay happy singing everybody and more from me soon bye for now